Welcome everybody back to Boost in Motion, guys. And today we're gonna talk about Map 6 because everyone keeps asking about it because most people already have a JB4. And if you're looking to get into JB4, watch this video too because it may help you into wanting to get into the world of understanding if you should make this purchase or not. But anyways, before I get into the video, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Reason being, I put a lot of videos out there and you might be really interested in some of these videos. But still hang in there. If you like the video, hit a like if you can and hit a comment below. Also, if you're new to the channel from a other vehicle manufacturer, because you're probably looking to how to adjust map six, there's not much videos out there. What I want to start that by saying to all you guys are watching this video and ladies is look up the efficiency zone for your turbo. Okay, the turbos that Infinity uses aren't the same uh, turbos that Audi uses. Okay, so each 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 turbo has a different efficiency zone. Okay, let's jump right into it. For the Q50, Q60, Silver Sports, Premiums, and Luxes, and for the Red Sports, there's an efficiency zone for our stock turbos. Now, what are the differences between the two turbos from Red Sports and the 300 horsepower versions? The Red Sports have two things. Uh, three things, actually. Well, four, but let's just start with just the engine. Um, they use two uh, water coolers or water pumps for the heat exchangers. Also, they have a different ECU tuning. They have a slightly different rear differential. But when it comes down to the turbos, they use turbo optical sensors. Pretty much Infinity uses this on a Red Sport so it can so the ECU can keep in check and watch how fast the turbines are, sp are spinning. So keep that in mind when I get to the whole Red Sport version of tuning. Oh well, Red Sport tuning on map six, okay? But let's just start with the premiums. The premiums don't have these optical sensors, so there and we don't have this water pump. But it is a little different, and I'm gonna tell you why the silver sports usually are faster than the red sports, but let's just keep going in right into it. All right, the efficiency zone for the premiums, uh, red, for the red sports and premiums, luxes and um, silver sports, is right around 18 to 19 PSI for um, for the stock turbos. Reason being, still took apart the turbos, right into all the diagnostic and everything, and tested it that the efficiency zone for long last, long lasting longevity, life of the turbo is 18 to 19 psi. Now, some of you guys might sit there and say, what up, seeing people push 22, 23, 24, 26 psi from the turbos? We're not talking about that right now, okay? We are talking about using the JB4 as a simple tool, as a glorified boost controller, just to get a bit more power over stock, okay? All right, we're not talking about that high-end uh, tunes where, where it's pushing the turbos out there efficiency zone. We'll save that for another talk another day, okay? But anyways, for map six, these turbos start start spooling somewhere right around third. Uh, their max spooling right around thirty-five hundred to four thousand RPM. Should have came in a lot earlier than that because it's small turbos, but right around thirty-five hundred. So on, with your map six, you're gonna see I think a thousand to seven thousand. Uh, increments right and you have to put everything in 9.0 or 1.0 that means one psi above whatever stock is now burger tuning took their time out to data log repeat data log these cars repeated dyno pulls repeated pulls in the desert to see what are going to be the, the the threshold for the psi the issue is going to send out so what they found out starting with silver sports premiums and luxes is depending on fuel they did it with 91 octane and they did it in about a, a of, I think weather of like 70 to 80 degrees they found out the ECU is going to typically give you between 8 and 12 psi right so you guys with silver sports I'm telling you right now go to your map 6 uh, and I want you to put in plus 7 or plus 7 to plus 8 from 3500 to about 5000 rpm okay start off there all right now from 5,000, from 5,500 to 7,000, I want you guys to taper it off to 4.5 or four, okay? So I want you to come from, from those numbers I gave you guys to about taper it off. I mean, you can taper it off a little bit better if you want. You could do come from eight to six, but from 6,500 to seven, 7,000 should be zero, okay guys? 7,000 should be zero, 6,500 should be like four. All right, so you gotta come from seven to zero as soon as possible in large jump of increments, okay? And I want you guys to do this other thing. It's very important. You guys need to data log, okay? You need to data log. 
You guys got to learn how to dialogue because without without dialoguing, you don't know what you're going to do to your car. Just because you're fast it doesn't mean the car is running right. There's something called pre-detonation and knocking, okay? Timing is going to be pulled depending on fuel, depending on temperature and load, okay, guys? Y'all guys are just out here turning the boost on these turbos because you your first turbo car or some of you guys don't care because it might be a lease. No, still treat the car right, okay? All right? But anyways, um, for Red Sports, it's a little bit different. Um, same thing, it's going to spool, spool up the same time, but Buddhist Regatune also dialogue that car and realized that Red Sports are pushing between 12 to 16 PSI, depending on fuel, 91, and temperature and load, okay? So you guys, I would recommend, because you have optical sensors. So these optical sensors can sense when the turbines are spinning too fast, okay? So that's why some of you guys shouldn't be pushing plus 7, plus 8, plus 9 because first thing, you're not even going to reach it because most of you guys are catted up. You have catalysts to convert us. We'll make another video about that too. Just hit the like below or comment if you want me to get into the downpipes and why you should push certain amount of PSI. But anyways, just, just comment below, okay? Uh, um, I want you guys to push plus 6 from 3,500 to 5,000 RPM, okay? All right, guys, plus six, and then taper it off till about three to 6,500, and then zero at 7,000, okay? Do that, data log it, see how the car's reacting, see if there's any uh, ignition problems. If you guys want me to make a, 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 a graph map on just about the basics about the ignition timing and RPM and everything, what, what parameters I use to know if the car's running right, uh, just comment below, okay? Now, once you guys do that, see how the car is running most likely it's going to be more powerful you're going to love it but my recommendation is very important here if you have 93 by you guys put 93 in okay don't stop i know it's maybe at least for some of you guys or some of you guys may be cheap and want to do 87 yo put 93 in the reason being when you run a better high octane fuel you have a less chance of likely of having knock or pre-detonation which means your car is going to run right and you can run the proper amount of PSI and put the proper amount of power to the ground, all right? Because if you don't run the right, right around, right, right, the best amount of fuel, guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna have timing being pulled, which means you're gonna like, you're gonna feel like the car is kinda could be faster, but it's gonna feel like it's hitting a wall a little bit. But it could, it's gonna be faster, but it's gonna be weird, and the car won't be consistently putting on that amount of butt dyno you guys like, okay? All right. So to continue with this, now we talked about fueling, we talked about the amount of PSI that you, run, you should run on map six, right? There's a few other little things I wanna get into why you need to taper it off. Now, the reason why you're tapering off from 5,500 to um, uh, 7,000 RPM, reason being is these turbos are not big enough to supply enough air or enough you know, PSI to the engine at these higher RPM. These cars are dig cars, all right? They're really not roll race cars. You might see a few cars out there that are doing good on roll races, but understand they have full down pipes or low down pipes, and they probably have a tune. Or if they do have JB, they are pushing it to the max. I st they still won't recommend doing that, at least now. But if you want me to talk about why not, put the comment below. I'll talk about it. Um, tapered off. Reason being, one, uh, JB4 does not allow you to have transmission tuning. Reason being, the stock uh, TCM or track of uh, transmission control module or EC or whatever the case might be, it, it it's only rated for the amount of torque or the line pressure for the amount of power that you have. So the Silver Sport guys, we have a tune for 300 horsepower, 300 pounds of torque. We don't we don't have the Red Sport line pressure. Red Sports have a higher line pressure, but understand when you turn up the power, you have more torque and more power, which means that you let you most likely are putting more of a strain on the torque converter for this car. That's why JB4 always chooses to taper off the PSI higher RPM so that you can have smooth, better, more smooth and uh, uh, gear changes. It's very important that you have the best gear changes because it, it was the point of having those power, but you guys are slipping. Second, when you're if, if, if you're when you gear changing, it's not like a ZF transmission or a 10 speed auto, which it changes automatically fast. We still have a, a sluggish seven speed uh torque converter here, so you may have in second, you might have some boost spikes. When some of you guys data log, you might notice that you come from 17 psi to 14, and then when it changed gear, you might have, you might see a 19 to 21 psi, but that's during the gear change. 
understand because our cars do not have blow valve systems or or um what is it uh the what's the other thing called again diverter valves where we, when we change into uh, our gears that it relieves the pressure from the system right we don't have that and our cars are automatic so they're not going to necessarily blow off you know what i'm saying unless you let go of the gas pedal all right so we're gonna have boost bikes so this is why jb burger tuning always says taper off at the higher end because we don't want to we don't want those boost spikes to be excessive where it cause boost sticks down later down the line also on top of it it could cause catastrophic failure but nobody i know has happened has that happened yet because of a jb4 but i do know people who had it happen because of a tune and i don't care you guys might jump into the comments say blah 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 no understand these guys that had the ecu tuning I don't want to say the company they use to tune it, but the, excuse me, but the tuners put a lot of time and energy into it, but they can't account for the boost spikes that may happen. They try their best, but it could happen because the, the customer says, I want to push 22, 23, 24 PSI, okay? So guys, those are the optical ranges. Anything above 5,500, these turbos really fall flat on their face. But between 3,500 and 5,500 is the best happy zone for these cars. The most torque, the most wheel horsepower. After that, we start losing wheel horsepower. After that, we start losing torque. All right? Some of you guys will, will sit there and say, well, why don't you just turn the PSI up even more? Understand, you're putting it out of its optical range. Okay? You're putting it out of its optical range. doesn't mean that the car isn't going to try its best. You know, we still have cats, so you're not even going to really hit some of those boost targets. It's going to be hard for some of you guys who have full stock exhaust to hit even 20 PSI. You know, some days you're going to probably hit 17 to 18, depending on if you have a Red Sport or, or a Silver Sport, Premium Lux, whatever. Depending on your tune, you can probably hit it, but it cannot repeat. The issue will not consistently give you a high PSI at high RPM. It always tapers off. So the ECU, from what I data log on a, on a Silver Sport, may give you 10 at 4,500, but it's not going to give you 10 at 65, uh, at 55 of 6,000 grand. It's going to give you like six. You know what I'm saying? So you use that to add on the PSI on top of that. So you can try to keep that consistent. 14 to 15 psi through the rev range from 3500 and up it's all about data login you can see how the car is running and then from up there you can always go up in increments okay guys same thing for your red sport guys data log it see that it always tapers off you might hit 14 right around 35 about 4000 gram 4000 but it might taper off to 10 at a higher rpm so then you choose to add maybe plus six five to six on top of it so you can hold that 15 16 17 psi through the rev range okay so this is the best information I can give you guys right now. Learn how to data log it. There's other videos on YouTube about it. If you want me to make a video about data logging and just how to read, set up your graph so you can understand what's going on with your car, definitely comment below, okay? But right around, that is what, just to have a brief recap, that's what I want you guys to do. If you have a Silver Sport Premium and Luxus, between 3,500 and 5,000 and 5,500, put seven to eight PSI above stock and taper it off aggressively from 5,055 to like um, four, four, 4 PSI above stock and 7,000 has to be zero and make uh, 6,500 right around that four range or whatever the case might be, okay guys? Data log it on 9193, see how the car reacts. For your for the Red Sport guys, put plus six from 3,500 to about 5,500 and taper it off, taper it off to like three to four, three to four, at to 65 and 7,000 zero. It's very important that you do this, guys, because um, this is important. Also, for the rest of you guys, understand this is just me telling you my own personal experience, but I'm not nowhere responsible if you go mess, mess up your car, okay? All right, guys, I'm not responsible for it, okay? Because with the Red Sport guys, you may run into issues with the um, optical sensors, depending on the fuel and temperature outside. And to finish off this video briefly, if you live in a cold climate area, understand that the ECU will give you higher PSI above normal. Through my own personal experience, in the winter time when it's twenty to when it's twenty to forty degrees outside, my ECU sends out fourteen psi. The ECU, not the JV, send out fourteen psi. So for me to run plus seven on top of that, I'm I'm running I'm running um almost 20 21 psi for a short period of time but the turbos can't handle that, that amount of exhaust pressure because it's so much back pressure because i'm catted up okay 
So understand that's what's going to happen. So you have to data log. You want to keep right around that 18 to 19 PSI area and try to keep up there closer to the high RPM, but try to taper it off to about 16 to 14 PSI whenever you're having these gear shifts, okay? So this is Boosted Motion. I just want to give you guys um, just the information that I know I've come across from other people's experience to my own personal experience. And also on top of that, just depends for the Red Sport guys too, the same thing from what I've read. Some people even got 17 to 18 PSI out of the stock turbos in cold temperature, okay? That's what the, the issue is sending out. Hey, I want 17 PSI, 16 to 17, all right, guys? So just know that. Keep this in hand. You don't want to go above that efficiency zone, all right? It At least for now, I want you to keep it safe. I want you guys to play safe. Some of y'all want to be out here beating all these high-end cars. Y'all yeah, want to be high in cars, but then understand this isn't a high-end car. This is a Q50, Q60. It's one. Of, it's, it's like the Toyota Camry of the entry level, entry, <laughs> entry luxury world, okay? And it's fairly new to the market, so I don't want you guys to break anything on your cars. All right. Sorry for dibbling, dab. I hope this was a long, extensive video. If you guys want to make me, uh, want me to make a video about the data logging part uh, or the graph part, let me know. Comment below. Uh, share some of your personal experiences below. You know what I'm saying? If you if you made it this far, subscribe. Hit the notification bell below. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate y'all very much. This is Boost Motion. I'm signing out. Appreciate y'all, and I have a lot of surprises coming up. A lot of surprises. You guys have an amazing, beautiful day, night, and evening. Thank you.